Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Dr. Jackie the PA and if this is the first time you're on my channel, I welcome you. I hope you find something that you would like, something that is interesting. You know, go ahead, subscribe, comment, give suggestions, all of that. And if you are a returning viewer, I say this every single time because I absolutely mean it. Like, you are the real MV MVP. I mean, like, you really are because you return to my channel and you do not have to. And I appreciate you. I really do. So, if you are a return viewer, okay, you know, I normally talk about things related to my profession, which is being a PA. But for a long time, I have wanted to talk about travel because my husband and I, we like to travel a lot. Um, and what originally happened was I was planning on talking about traveling after some of the trips we had taken over the past years, like before COVID. But when COVID happened, let me get my camera together. <laughs> but when COVID happened, it just made it all of the information I wanted to share about my prior trips irrelevant because COVID traveling and traveling um, after COVID are two different ways of travel. Like traveling with COVID is very ghetto. If nobody else says it, I'm going to say it. But we still travel. And I wanted to just kind of share some of the real stuff with you because what happens is we like to look up information about the different places that we're going and um we don't find a lot of people who look like us that provides valuable information like yeah you want to share your trip and that's cool and i don't mind that but most of the time people are sharing just general trip information like okay your pictures of you just hanging out with with your friends and not really doing anything that is different <laughs> Like, you can set shit at all on social media, and many people see it. But when on YouTube, I hate watching a video that gives me nothing. And some videos, give they give me nothing. But I wanted to be able to share my traveling and then share some things that I think are important for people who have never been to these destinations um, and give my tips and recommendations. Now, listen, y'all, I am not the... Oops. <laughs> Gotta edit that out. I am not the travel pro yet, meaning like I haven't been everywhere yet, but I've been on a lot of continents. And before COVID, we had went to, let's see, like Mexico, I don't be really counting because a lot of people go to Mexico. I consider it like going around a corner, but I mean, there's still a process for that. So I can talk about Mexico, but um, before COVID, we went to Dominican Republic, we went to China, we went to Dubai, we went to Rome. And it sucks that I can't really make a video about those because I haven't been since COVID, so I don't know what they require. But since the pandemic, um, our traveling has changed a lot, meaning like we get to go less frequently and we have actual vacations that we've paid for that we cannot go on yet. They're on hold. So um, London and Paris is on hold, paid for, but on hold. And then Thailand is on hold. So yeah, it's very frustrating, especially when you request a time off and then um, the pandemic is just a hater. But um, let's get to the point of this video here. So this video is just for people who have not. Oh, God, got to get that together. I'm going to have to edit that out, too. <laughs> I don't know why that spins, but I normally don't make videos in my bed. But today I'm getting a video from the bed. I just got to get my little um, lighted tripod to chill. But OK, so. Today, we're going to be talking about our trip from Jamaica. Like, literally, we returned last night from Jamaica. And a lot of people go to Jamaica. It's a nice destination for people to go to for girls' trips. People get married there just to be going. And we went because it was my husband's birthday and we wanted to celebrate. Now, I'm going to share my experience, my tips. I got some videos and some photo clips in here, so it's not just that. Plus, my skin is being a hater and I don't want y'all, like, zooming in. <laughs> 
really look at this look at this anyhow so we stayed at the bahia principe luxury resort in runaway bay now i'm a big google reviewer i will look on tripadvisor um google expedia whatever i'm going to look up um a hotel destination because i can't just be staying anywhere now i am not saying i need my hotel to be um like absolutely perfect because most of the time we are not spending our well majority of our time is not spent on actual um at the resort on a hotel um like we're, we're going to be doing activities or excursions during the day for the most part I'm doing some kind of activity. I mean, like I need my bed to be comfortable enough to get a decent night of sleep and clean. But when it is a resort, you want to like look at some perks. So things that are important for us when we are choosing a resort is, hey, number one is going to be reviews. And there's a way that you look at reviews. You look at the most recent reviews. You look at the um, oldest reviews. You look at... Um, the worst and the best reviews okay like look them up in those groups because you can kind of tell if some um reviews are fake or just not real if you have a whole bunch that are grouped together um they and or you only have a very short period of time and you have a whole bunch of reviews this doesn't seem real legit so um just be be careful to review so this had this resort has a 4.7 star google review which you know that's good for me that's like definitely an a um Things that we look for um, are the number of restaurants with the food complaints, <laughs> complaints or um, rewards or suggest whatever what they say about the food. Because listen, we like to eat, and when you're on a resort, you know they have restaurants, and I want the food to be good. I don't want to go somewhere and then the food is just nasty. So, um, so we have uh, we look at the food, and then we kind of plan and go from there. One thing I did not know is, um, you know, you fly into Montego Bay from, we flew in from Chicago to Montego Bay and um, Runaway Bay is about an hour and some change away from Montego Bay and haven't gone to Mexico several times and doing excursions off the resort and getting transportation to and from the airport. I can't say I was fully prepared for these Jamaica transportation prices. Transportation costs can be expensive in Jamaica. Um, you want to travel safely. You want to um, know where you're going, but it costs. Even, I mean, a taxi is expensive. So we book transportation services um, online. We typically use Viator and we book them and we try to find the best deal. Always look at reviews on everything. When you're invited, look at reviews. If you have no reviews in a long period of time, that company may not still be operating and I just wouldn't risk it all. That's me. But um, so we booked our air airport transportation via Viator. Um, something that I would suggest when you do go to Jamaica is to use um, book MoBe. So MoBe is like this VIP lounge in the airport and it's not super expensive but while you're waiting you get to like speed through the check-in process um on arrival i don't want to say check-in but like to make a customs because we got it for our re our trip to and then our return trip and you get to chill there and they serve you drinks so you can drink all the rum punch you want um and it's included in the price so you got drinks they have like little little food the little food menu and what I would recommend off that food menu, um, they had these pork sliders, which were absolutely delicious. The beef patties. Um, I love French fries, so I'm just biased. I'm going to tell you to eat the French fries because they're like hot and fresh oven baked French fries. And the salad was pretty good, too. Listen, it, the food was included with the price. So we were trying to eat all we could because we I want to say I want to say it was like thirty dollars per person. You could eat a lot of food and probably drink like on the way back. I only had like one big rum punch, but I had like three of them on the way in because I had just arrived. <laughs> um, but Mo Bay is the way to go. I felt like a celebrity when we walked in. Um, somebody was holding a sign with my husband and I's name, and I was like, "Oh snap, that's I ain't Beyonce, but this must be what she feel like." <laughs> but um, yeah, so. 
they get you checked in and get you, you get your bags and everything just smooth. They get you to the lounge, you chill, and transportation comes to pick you up from there. Um, so if you are going to Jamaica, include Mobay. Like you can't do, you honestly cannot do it. And they're not paying me to say this. I'm saying because now if I go to Jamaica, I'm going to be mad if we don't do Mobay because I mean, I'm spoiled. I like to do fancy smancy stuff. Um, and before any trip, I hope people know budget, have a budget because the things that you're going to be able to do are going to vary on how, I mean, depend on how much money you have. Um, to spend on the trip. I will say that the transportation costs, they were just a bit much in my opinion. Um, we did two excursions and I, a timing just didn't allow for another one because even though we may not spend so much time at the resort, we do like to have a day or two where we're just like in the pool, drinking, kicking it, absorbing the sun, hanging out on the beach. And we luckily did get to do that. So um, we did two excursions and transportation for one excursion was an additional $170. It was round trip for both of us. It was a private vehicle, but $170 for the transportation. For this particular excursion, it was definitely worth it, but $170, y'all, it was a lot. So, um, we arrived on a Monday. I will not even go into the story as to why we didn't arrive on the Sunday that we're supposed to arrive. But to get into Jamaica, you need to have a COVID test. So, you um, you can it can be... Um, PCR antigen, but it needs to happen within three days before you're going to depart. You also have to get a travel authorization. This is completely free. I just Googled Jamaica travel authorization. Um, you fill out the information and they email you an authorization that approves your trip and travel there. You need to include the hotel you're going to be at. Um, what are you there for? It's kind of like that customs form you do on the airplane. Um, what are you going to be there for? How long? Um, are you vaccinated? Are you not? And then um, they tell you the latest that you can get the test. Um, we were approved immediately. It wasn't like this long waiting process, but I suspect there could always be something like that. So we were leaving on a Sunday initially, but um, I did it like on a Thursday and we got our stuff. Um so it's important to know that the COVID testing may change. That changes all the time. Um, at one point, if you were vaccinated in the United States, you didn't have to get a vax. I mean, a um, COVID test to come back in. But now everybody has to get a COVID test. It's just a matter of how many days before you're leaving that you have to get your COVID test. So um, be prepared for that. The cost for our COVID test on return that were done done on the actual resort um it was forty dollars forty us dollars which is cheaper than what i paid to have a missed test i mean a late result in the states because y'all be scamming they be scamming y'all but um so when we first got to jamaica it was it was kind of late our driver was very talkative <laughs> be able to i don't know um I would say they are friendly in Jamaica. I just, sometimes it's, I, I don't be wanting to talk that much, but my husband is so, so nice and he's conversational and um, he talked with them. But um, the drivers are nice. They will share the history, let you know where you are. Um, I felt safe the entire time we were there. I was there with my husband though too. My husband's a big dude, so he ain't playing no games about me. All right. <laughs> um, we, it, it, yeah, it was like an hour and some change and it was completely dark. Now they don't have any street lights, y'all. So um, driving to the hotel, there's a whole bunch of things that we did not see because um, it was like pitch black. They don't even have those little reflector things that come off the road. And the drivers in different countries, I've learned to drive a little bit more aggressively and a little bit different than how we drive in America. But um or in the U.S. So we, um, 
We made it to our hotel. We checked in. Check-in was smooth. The only thing I didn't like is I stayed at a Bahia in Mexico and I definitely was comparing and I know that's not what we should do. We're in different countries, but I like to be shown where things are at because um they gave me this map and I just could not figure it out. You just I mean if you ask people they help you, but I that's the only thing I didn't like. I wanted them to just kind of show me. And maybe because we got in later than when they have a lot of people to do that. Um they have a buffet which usually these resorts have so at the bahia we definitely um took advantage of the buffet i'm being completely honest like i think i had got my palate all hyped up for jamaican food and the resort has some jamaican food it just wasn't all the way hitting like when you got off the resort so i strongly encourage if you are going to jamaica or if you're going to any country where there is an all-inclusive resort safely get off the resort so that you can experience some real flavor and uh, really nice and seasoned food because um when we got our food off the resort let me tell y'all that jerk is amazing like some real authentic seasoned with love, made with love, jerk chicken, jerk pork, all the jerk. Okay. Um, so get off the resort and get you um some Jamaican food. Uh oh god, I wish I could think of the place that we were taken to. But anyhow, our first I'm gonna tell you about our two excursions and like some other things I recommend. So the first excursion was the Rasta Safari and Tour. This is a tour that we found on Viator. It cost the day that we were going is one sixty three per person u s dollars and then it provided um they provided a cooked lunch and um that was not included in the transportation transportation was an additional eighty dollars you was um yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to like separate it out um but it was one of the most beautiful excursions i had been on um so what the what you're doing is you're actually going into this village that had goes up into the mountains and they farm and people i mean like these community th this community of people are there and you are basically immersed in their just in their world and their culture so um it starts out with like a walking tour um along the roaring river which is really a roaring river and you get explanations about a lot of the plants started growing around there so there's lemongrass there's like this garlic leaf that they use for seasoning um they they call the lemongrass fever tea so they take it for fevers um and it's, it's just a lot of history and it's just so peaceful and serene and green y'all like i don't know if y'all knew that but it is green 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 beautiful green you get to see all the different plants um yeah, I really like the experience. So we did the walking tour and then we went on ATVs and the ATVs take you around the neighborhood and village and the people are nice and friendly. They're waving, but um, there's animals like livestock. They just out grazing y'all like th these were some of the healthiest looking animals we had seen out and about, <laughs> um, but they were literally on the road. Like they just walk in my day business eating stuff saw lots of little baby goats and i was like that's that's where the curvy goat come from i was wondering where all them little baby goats a lot of goats y'all but um it was cool because we're riding these atvs past and we get to absorb all of that and i did my ancestry y'all and i know that i'm a descendant of slaves who were in a saint thomas parish in jamaica so i was i feel like i was a little bit at home i was like yeah I feel it in my spirit, you know, you know, especially in the black community. We don't, our history and ancestry is not something that we just have readily accessible to us. So, um, 
I definitely was like, oh, this felt, it felt good. It felt like home. Okay. Um, the ATV. Now, what had happened was the weather <laughs> had changed. So when rain happens, it just like kind of comes and like a downpour and it may last a little bit, it may not. And we're getting close to the evening. I think it took us about two hours to get out to this place. And we did not get to go into, there's like this cave and some blue, I'm just going to say blue lagoon, but that's probably not what it is. But we didn't get to go in it anyhow. But um, we were covered in mud <laughs> and water because there's like these mineral river baths that you can get in. I was going to get in and it was a little cloudy. Next thing you know, it's just coming down. It was raining really hard. So our tour was cut a little bit short, but these people were so, so nice and gracious. They prepared a meal. It was a vegan Jamaican meal, y'all. So it had some seasoning, but they had no meat. It looked like it was meat, but they showed us the package, and I can't tell you what the package was. But our driver was Dale. So if y'all are in Jamaica, like, we're looking for Dale. Hey, because, like, they family own this this farm, and they got all this land. And, like, they, I don't know if they're the people that conduct the tours, but I highly, highly recommend. It's like a must-see experience. It's not a, It's not a tour when you think of a tour. It is an experience of you going through people's life I guess I guess that's the best way to put it but anyhow do the Rasta Safari and tour you will not be disappointed the other tour we did excuse me was the Jamaican food tour now listen I told you that I need to get off the resort because I need food that has seasoning and flavor and culture from the island I do not want to just eat resort seasoned food because the food is made for the masses and it's not made you know with complete love and complete seasoning so um we made my husband mostly and he sent me the videos but i also watched some of these videos we have been watching lots of food tour videos and this guy oh my gosh his name is slipping me i think it's michael manny now I'm going to have to look the name up. I will just type it in once I find it. Because I'm pretty sure I messed it up. But um, anyhow, he is this, I think he's like Filipino. He's like the happiest man. He does all these food tours. Well, he he had a Jamaican food tour on Endless. And every, I felt like I was eating the food with him through the video. Because he's like, mm, smell the aroma. And he's smiling and cheesing it. Like, listen. If he's smiling and eating, it got to be that good, right? So we find the Jamaican food tour. Now, I'm going to let you know, if you are a real hardcore foodie, you don't want to miss the tour. But you want to also make sure that you budget for it because um, I do believe it's definitely worth the money, but you need to have the money. Like, I think the least expensive food tour that we saw at the time on price per person was like 186 or 89 189 per person but you getting you get a lot of food like we did our food tour on thursday i just and i'm back home in the states and i just warmed up uh the meat for um us for dinner because i ain't cooking and um it fed me and my husband and two of our kids and we still have some meat left to save for our son um when we see him later so i definitely say it is worth it so what we did was we did the jerk experience my god y'all so this food is prepared in front of us on the beach it's on pineapple beach and um we're getting like explanations of the history of the real season and like we learn the story of how did we even come up on jerk um but we had jerk chicken jerk pork jerk sausage we had some um red snapper i think it was jerk snapper but i think everything was jerked um we had festival which is just so i love bread y'all it's like this deliciousness and fried bread is kind of sweet and oh, and we had some yams which the yams that we had in jamaica were like yellow Versus at home, they like orange and because they're different yams. And it tastes just like yams. So 
It was yams, I believe it. We had plantains, rum punch. I feel like I'm missing some corn. Oh, that corn looks good too. And everything is like it's seasoned and prepared in front of you and it's just cooked and you smell it and you're watching and you're like, oh, I want to eat it. I want to eat it right now. Oh my gosh, y'all, listen. I was, the food was so good. I had to pray to Jesus and be like, listen, if this is gluttony, I'm not trying to be gluttonous. God, this food is just so, it was so good. And it was, listen, it was made right there, like off the grill onto your plate. We had the scotch bonnets, uh, peppers, which I, ever since I was watching the YouTube videos, I'm like, I want the scotch bonnets because he keeps talking about scotch bonnets. I need some scotch bonnets. Um, yeah, so we had this whole jerk experience and it was an experience, y'all. And the owners are just absolutely personable, fun, and some good cooks. Let me tell you, some good cooks. And then we just vibed well. So whenever I come back to Jamaica, because we will come back to Jamaica, I will definitely be booking another food tour because listen, they got a seafood tour. They have the street food tour. And COVID had definitely impacted how they did business. But um, they... Listen, y'all, if that's the place that you're going to hit up in Jamaica, I definitely recommend that. Now, we are at the age where we are not clubbing. So if you are watching this video, hoping that you're going to get some ideas on where to club. Listen, I'm 38. <laughs> my knees and my stomach and everything, we just don't, it doesn't handle that. Like, I like to go and, like I said, experience the culture, enjoy some of the resort, eat some food, enjoy the beach, and and mark it off in history as a place and return if I need to return. Okay. So, um, tips that I would have for anybody who's never been to Jamaica, if you're looking for like low key, not as busy and you want to kind of just chill and you think you're going to mostly be on a resort, you may be only doing like one excursion. If that, I would recommend staying at the, you know, Bahia Principe luxury, um, resort. They have an adults only side. They have a family side. We stayed on the adults only side. Um, we didn't bring our kids with us, but, um, it's, it's far enough away from things where you can just kind of enjoy your family, enjoy the resort and do just resort stuff. But if you think that you're going to want to get off the resort more than just once, I would recommend staying closer to the airport because, a lot of the excursions that you book, the travel will be included if it's from like a hotel in the Montego Bay area. Um, I guess where we were physically located was like right in the middle of Ocho's Rios and Montego Bay. So we did say definitely next time we plan on going, we will be trying to stay closer to Montego Bay or within Montego Bay just to be a little bit closer to all the activity that is going on again. We ain't clubbers, so I don't think we're going to be doing any clubbing type stuff. Um, but we do like to enjoy ourselves. So, um, uh, and we want to try a little bit more of the ex excursions. Like we wanted to look into, I guess Rose Hall is supposed to be like a haunted hotel. And then the Luminescence Lagoon. There you go. Luminescence Lagoon. I guess it's like a, this water that glows. We can get through that one. There's some done Dunn's fall or some some kind of fall that people could recommend and we also didn't get to see that so there's lots and lots of excursions i'm hoping you enjoy this video and it gave you some tips as to like okay what should you be doing oh well maybe i should i didn't tell you that part <laughs> one have a plan two have the money three make sure you get your COVID test on time and make sure it's with a reputable company um, and know that the resort does provide COVID tests, um, for you to return home. Um, travel, be safe, like be safe. Don't just go off anywhere with anybody. Um, I say traveling groups and just be cautious because there's definitely, um, and just like anywhere, like I'm, I live in Milwaukee. I would tell y'all to be cautious around here too, because people are crazy. <laughs> But like this, I think the same safety practices you would have if you were going out in your own place, own city, you would have in a different country. All right. Um, I, like again, like I said, I felt safe the entire time. Um, I I was with my husband though too. 